the most fastest CPU of the year. It plays games very fast and stays warm very long, and I can't install it on my board. So, <laughs> looks like I got a wonderful, wonderful gift this year for being a very nice, nice boy on the marvelous AMD Red Team community. By the way, if you really are passionate about AMD products and the Red Team, you should really check this forum. It's full of wonderful people that I can surely call friends. You know, I'm really happy about this gift. Now, I have to embrace the Christmas spirit and spend a little more. Luckily, uh, I do not have to spend extra on the cooler, as the Ryogen is compatible. Whew. Let's browse some boards online. Trix boards, of course, because, you know, my ROG build. Yeah, got a team. But the reasons I'm about to show you will be valid for every maker, either be Asus, Gigabyte, MSI, you name it. I'm going to talk about I.O., VRM, features and expansion to keep matters straight. Really, it's okay to watch it because it may help you choose to. Choosing between the B650 or the higher end X. 670 chipset can be confusing. Some will just assume the X is better and go with it, but normally the higher end chip will, in most cases, give you more features, more than actual performance. Sometimes no performance at all. Sure, sure, look at this X series board like the Prime from Asus, it has 14 plus 2 VRM design against the 16 plus 2 from the Strix B650E game. Are you now convinced? Not yet. Features like this LED display for error codes is available, but this X chipset port does not have it. Weird, right? And they are both ROG Strix, right? There are some variations like the A and F models, but the E gaming will be the best featured board. I can now see you are less convinced and more confused. But <laughs> don't worry. Moving on. I can't really be sure the minimum required VRM configuration for a 7950X but for a more common CPU pick, like the 7700X, probably a favorite gamer's pick, VRMs that are made available on the B650 boards will be enough. For me, with the flagship CPU, I'll play on the safe side and have at least 16 plus 2 VRM design in case I want to push the CPU a bit more with overclocking. So, I'll discard the Prime model based on this idea alone. And, of course, it would look a bit out of context in a complete ROG thin build computer. So that's it. Now the eGaming X board. Sure, it has lots of features to go around. Dual PCIe slots running at full speed. But, of course, Crossfire, not a thing today, right? BIOS flashback and CMOS clear button, well, that's common with all the Strix models. And Wi-Fi 6, check. GPU release button, even the Prime has it. We're good for M.2 slots on every model, sure. But the E variation has 3 Gen 5 instead of just 2. But I don't really need 3 NVMEs the LCD for trouble codes, kinda look cool and useful, 
and it also has more USB ports. Hmm, let me have a look at the price. Oopsie, I'm paying over 100 more of my money for features that probably I won't use. I'm sorry, but the e-gaming is out. So again, B or X? Well, they both have the same VRM design and the B has a trouble code LED and two full speed slots. Both have similar I.O. and internal headers. The X port sure has a better design than RGB, but my ultimate factor is KVL listings. You see, the RAM modules that I want, the G-Skill Trident Z Neo, made specially for the AMD Expo, does not appear on the B chipset board KVL. Guess this is it then. The Strix X 670A gaming it is. Hey motherboard, I choose you. Are you still with me? Thank God, I know my voice sounds boring, but the tips can be good. You know what? If you're having trouble at night sleeping, just put this video on loop and hit like. Okay, time to hit buy and let the good stuff appear under the Christmas tree. Have you already jumped on the AM5 bandwagon? If you haven't and want to see a no BS assessment from a small YouTuber, keep an eye, I'll be posting the video on mid-January. finally wrap this video up, allow me to show you the footage of this guy unpacking the gift as a bonus. Oh, thank you! Um, Christmas gift! Wow! <laughs> okay, time to cut it open! Bring me the sacrificial processor? Ah, oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> I got a blade today. Caution! Sensitive electronic devices. <laughs> that sounds good. Gently, gently. What it is? Oh wow, now that's a great Christmas gift, for sure, 7950X. Oh, that's amazing. Let's put here in the Hall of Fame. Oh, that's a lot. And carefully, wow, that sure is amazing, a nice, amazing touch, I'm speechless to say, I'm speechless, that means without speech, so here I am. I hope you like it. Sorry I didn't publish it sooner, but that's life. I'm gonna head down and box this in the set. So, like it.
subscribe, share. See you next time.